Pterodactyl here, and today's video is going to be on this here Crawler 35 horsepower fuel injected engine and why it's important that you use the correct oil filter. Otherwise, this $4,000 mistake could happen to you. And I'm going to explain to you what happened here by using the wrong oil filter. Maybe you got one of these engines on your piece of equipment. So this is a Kroller ECV 940 that was on an Xmark zero turn mower. It's a fuel injected 35 horsepower engine like I said earlier. And what happened is the wrong oil filter was installed and this is the carnage. And this engine is $4,000. If you don't believe me, go on the inner screen and look up a Kroller ECV 940. You'll see it's four grand. So I'm gonna go over why it's important that you use the correct oil filter on this particular engine. So this mower, this x mark came in and it wouldn't start. And uh, we quickly figured out that it uh, had no compression. So we pulled the engine off and pulled it apart and this is what we found. This carnage, massive carnage. Look at it. Look at the debris. All because the wrong oil filter was installed. Now this can't be happening to just this person. There's got to be other people out here that this has happened to. So the problem is, a lot of people don't know what kind of lawn equipment they have or what engine is even on it. So you go to a dealer or something and you ask them, okay, I need an oil filter for my uh, mower. All right, what do you got? I don't know. I don't know what I got. What engine's on it? I don't know. I think it's a crawler. Guy across the counter hands you an oil filter. In this case, it was the wrong oil filter. And this is what happened. So now you're sitting there watching this video and you're asking yourself, Carol, Carol, I can't wait. Stop with all the suspense. What happened that this carnage happened to this engine by using the wrong oil filter? What is it? What happened that the wrong oil filter caused this? I'll get to that in a minute. So on this particular Kroller engine, the oil filter goes right here. This is where it screws onto. Now what's the first thing that you notice? Look at how long this is. See how long that is? On a typical small engine for a lawnmower, I've got this old sump cover off a junk engine. They're typically only this long. So just about any oil filter that you buy will screw on there and you won't have a problem. The problem is when you use the wrong oil filter on this engine, it blocks this off. And that's where the oil, the main amount of oil that passes through the filter after it's filtered, this is where the oil goes into the engine to lubricate the connecting rods. So if you block this off, you're not getting any oil to them rods. And when them rods don't get any oil, they're screaming like a little baby screaming for food. I want oil! I want oil! I want oil! And when they don't get any oil, it locks up. And when it locks up, this is what happens. So let's go over the oil filters. And there's many different kinds out there. So if you're a dealer out there, a shop owner, and you're using different oil filters to save your customers money, you can again have a guy come in, doesn't know what he's got, you don't know what engine's on his piece of equipment. If he's a new customer, you can't look it up. 
you sell them a filter over the counter, it's the wrong filter, that's a $4,000 mistake. So I went and I gathered up a bunch of old oil filters because we change a lot of oil around here. And look at all these different filters. They're all different heights. There's tall ones, there's short ones. There's ones that are in between tall and short. And this is where the problem lies with this engine. So this engine normally takes this filter. This is a Kroller filter. This is a brand new filter but it's all smashed up and it's the only one I had so I'm showing you this one. This is an aftermarket filter. It's actually basically the same filter. It's the same height. It's got the same amount of holes. It's actually identical. And this is one that you can buy at the auto parts store. The difference is the price. There's a big price difference. If this filter had been used, this one or this one, this wouldn't have happened. These are good filters. This would have worked on this engine. I'm going to show you the filter that was on this engine. And that was this one. This short one. You're probably thinking already, oh yeah, I see where you're going with this, Carol. This short filter. And what had happened is, when this filter got screwed on there, <laughs> see down in the middle? See where it's shiny? This little thing in the center blocked off the oil getting to it. It blocked this off. It was starving for oil. And it was screaming, give me some oil, give me some oil, hurry up, hurry up, give me some oil. And it couldn't supply the oil. It choked it off. $4,000 mistake. So here's some other filters. This filter is a little bit taller. It's a J. Thomas. Look where that thing in the center is. Way down in there. This filter would have worked. Would have been fine. Oil would have passed through. What else do we got here? This John Deere filter. Again, that thing down there in the center, it's way down there. So I'm going to use my finger as a little gauge. It's about that long. Well, maybe not. That one might not have worked. What else do we got? Here's a Kroller, another Kroller oil filter. This is a short one. Because they come in two sizes. If you know about this stuff, got tall ones and short ones. A lot of reason why they make a tall and a short one is because sometimes, depending on the tractor you got, this tall one will be in the way and you can't get it in, so you got to use the short one. But again, you got customers coming in, don't know what equipment they got. You're rolling the dice. This is like Las Vegas when you own a lawnmower shop. You're rolling the dice. What if you sell the guy the wrong oil filter? He's got an engine like this. Where do you go from there? Court? Judge Judy? You and Judge Judy gonna get together? Somebody gonna pay for this? $4,000 engine because you sold the guy the wrong oil filter and he didn't know what equipment he had. These are things to think about. And why? Why would they do this? Why would they put that extension on there? Is that really necessary? Do we really need that on this engine? I don't know. That's a question we need to ask Kroller. 
So here's a crawler one. It's got that thing down in the center. This is a short one. Let's screw this baby on there, see what happens. All right. And if it hit that thing in the center, it's going to leave a mark. No mark. This filter would have been fine. Here's another one. HIPAA. Isn't that some kind of medical thing? HIPAA. That's a short one, just like that one that was on there that caused all the damage. Where's it at? This one. Looks identical. It's a little different. Let's see what happens when we screw that one on there. You can see it left a mark. It left a mark. You can see that little little ring, like a C. That would have blocked the oil off. It might have let some through, but probably not enough. This filter would have damaged that engine. All right, there's another one here I'm looking for. A brakes and scrap them. Ah, here's our brakes and scrap them, short one. Got that thing in the center. Customer comes in. I need an oil filter for my crawler engine. You got the tall one or short one, sir? I don't know, just give me a filter, they're all the same. Oh, here you go, this brakes and scrap them one will work on there. We sell these, they work on crawlers, they work on uh, brakes and scrap them, they work on a lot of ones. All right, give me that one. Yeah, I'm changing that oil. Well, I got some lawns I gotta cut. Yeah, guy at the parts store or at the lawnmower shop told me that one'll work. Hey, put that one on there. What? What happened? This thing just quit running. What the heck happened? This is what happens. Again, that thing in the center, you could see where it left the mark. Choked off the oil. Again, I want to reiterate. That's a big word for you. That means I want to go over what I just said. <laughs> It's only on this engine. So don't freak out, start freaking out, running out to the garage and pulling your oil filter off. It's only on this twin cylinder Kroller fuel injected ECV. That's why again, like I tell you all the time, you gotta be like a lawnmower detective. You gotta look at this stuff and think. Wow, never seen something like that sticking out before. Hmm, this guy, he had this other filter on there. Say, where's that one I had? He had this uh, short crawler one on there. And we sell that aftermarket short one. Yeah, we'll just give one to them. It's only short by that much. That that much is gonna cost you four thousand dollars. Now I know what you're saying, oh, oh, Terrell, you're so dramatic. You're over the top. Why couldn't you get a short block for that engine? That would only cost you two thousand dollars. Oh, that's still a lot of money, two thousand dollars, and all the time to transfer everything to a short block. Problem is, they don't make a short block for this anymore. 
They used to, not anymore. Terrell, roll on the dice. I should be in Vegas right now. Roll on the dice, winning some money. I found a short block for this. So this guy got lucky. It was probably the last short block in America, but I found one. So I'm gonna short block this engine out. But other than that, try to find a short block now. Good luck. You gotta buy a whole engine. Four grand. Again, you don't believe me? Look it up. ECV 940. I think they make another bigger one. 980. This can't be the only time this has happened. But it happened. And it's all because of an oil filter. Again, only on this engine. So, that's why you gotta be careful on the parts you choose and know what you got. So, be careful when you're changing that oil. You don't wanna have a $4,000 mistake like this. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. I'm Terrell, the guy showing you the $4,000 mistake. Go to our web store, buy some of our uh, stuff that we got on there, like this beautiful holiday sweatshirt that's keeping me toasty warm. Mm -hmm. Check out my pin. Yeah, we just got these in. That's me doing a wheelie on the wheelie horse. Follow me with your blown up engines on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, I'm not gonna give a big woo on this one because this is a downer. As always, there's your dinner. There's your very expensive dinner. That's, that's a dinner for rich people. Woo! That's what I say when, when, uh, when the food comes, when I'm having an expensive dinner. Woo! Kind of a low woo.